I'm going to demonstrate how to create an agent-controlled NPC in Open Wonderland. This is an instance of Open Wonderland running on a development server at Athabasca University. This is my avatar here, and this here is an avatar representing the Jade client connection. It's uh, an unnecessary artifact, really, but I've never gone to the trouble of hiding it because I find it useful knowing that that connection exists while I'm testing. I'm going to create a new NPC. Next agent I'd like to demonstrate, and that is a very basic host agent that will exhibit greeter like behavior, greeting users as they join the world. I've already added an NPC into the world and attached this script to it. I've got two users in the world right now, my primary one called Grant and a secondary Grant user that's logged in from a second computer. I have the two cases here because I wanted to have side-by-side -side video showing, showing these things synchronized to some degree. So when this agent starts, it's going to have a goal of monitor. It's going to have, there's a plan, it's going to have the NPC bow, it's going to set up some listener listeners um, on proximity, which senses when user avatars are close to the NPC avatar. It's going to set up a listener on presence, which is listening for events of users entering and exiting the world. And it's going to set up the listener on the text chat, so it can monitor any messages that are sent there. It's going to send a message to the text chat saying that it's monitoring, monitoring the room, and then it's going to cheer. There are three users in the world right now, so it's actually going to get three new beliefs, and it's going to run this plan for all three of those beliefs in turn. So why don't we just start off with that? So that indicates it set up the listeners, and now it's handling the plan events. I should say now it's handling the the presence belief plans as they are added into its belief base. So it's gone to Grant, now it's gone to Grant 2, and then it went to Jade Controller, and it was far enough away that it didn't actually move, it just turned. Anybody at this point could actually enter a message asking to be led, but I will do it from here. So why don't we start this off by saying let's go to the physics classroom. off he goes. Now if I stop midway, when he gets there he has asked for my location and it turns out that I'm 20, 22 virtual feet away from that classroom. So it returns to me, goes through the same thing, it says please follow me to the physics classroom and it could just keep doing this ad nauseum, which isn't really a brilliant behavior for building a, <laughs> a credible NPC, but this is just a very, very simple script. So I could, I could continue to follow him, 